Hello, my name's Liz. I'm a pianist and as an orchestral player I'm often required to play other keyboard instruments including the harpsichord, the celeste and the synthesizer. The harpsichord appeared in much earlier music uh, when the orchestras were much smaller and it was used to double the bass line and fill out the harmony and as orchestras grew there was room for bigger instruments. The synthesizer you find in much more modern music I've got a Celeste here today to show you how that works. As you'll see, it looks a little bit like an upright piano, but it actually is a lot different. Although it's operated by a keyboard, inside, instead of strings, it's a set of chime bars, metal chime bars. They're suspended over wooden resonating boxes, and when I press a key, a hammer hits the chime bar to, to make the sound. Like on a piano, the hammer would hit the string. Um, the, the name Celeste actually comes, it's, it's a French name meaning heavenly and it does make a very heavenly sound as you'll hear. You may have recognised that tune, probably its first entry into the orchestral repertoire, Tchaikovsky's Sugar Plum Fairy from The Nutcracker. Um, I think it takes on several roles in the orchestra. Um, obviously, uh, having the lovely soft quality, it can be amongst the percussion section, adding a little bit more twinkle and a uh, softer edge to, to complement the glockenspiel or the xylophone. Um, it often has a solo role as well, and it, a it can actually just double texture of almost any other section. I can think of examples where it doubles the woodwind and where it doubles the strings and it just adds something to the texture. So percussive, textural, solo. It has its own sustaining pedal which obviously helps to add that um, colour. We can make it much more melodic. <laughs> lovely and warm and heavenly. Obviously it has the resonating boxes which make it softer, so a slightly softer edge which the glockenspiel um, you know is a little bit harder sounding uh, but the main thing is that obviously with sticks you can't really go as with one person so I can play you know, if a keyboard player is playing it it can be played much faster so it can have these more sort of soloistic type um, runs and things that would be much more difficult and played with mallets. If you've enjoyed learning about the instruments in the orchestra, why not try our iPad app, The Orchestra, featuring Essa Pekka Salonen and the Philharmonia Orchestra. Fully interactive video playback lets you view the orchestra from all angles, and the revolutionary beat map shows you who is playing when. Follow along with synchronised scores, hear the inside scoop in audio commentaries and get a 360 degree view of all the instruments. Available for download in the App Store on iTunes.